I bought this model. It was cheap, probably because it's a bit weird. But when I opened... Huh? When I opened the box, I realised the instructions had been printed upside down. The whole thing, top to bottom, back to front, upside down. Unbelievable. So I put a few bits together and stared at it for a while. I realised the wheels look a bit silly, but these ones look even sillier. So my mind was made up, and the job was on. After looking at some pictures of monster truck suspension, I realised my only choices were to either study it, learn it and build an accurate replica, or I could make a half-assed attempt at something that looks roughly in the ballpark. Nature took its course and I opted for the latter. When painting a picture, you would quite often have the objects in the foreground lighter and the objects in the background darker. And when building a model, you can add depth by having the top of the model lighter and the bottom of the model darker. This is a soldering iron. They're designed for melting plastic, but I have seen people build very complex circuit boards with them. I commonly use them for either making rust holes or interesting looking patterns on the back of my hand. One of them hurts more than the other though. This kit, I found this engine, which was grossly overscaled. Perfect for life. Naturally, I painted the gearbox yellow because all gearboxes need to be yellow. This model is built by Airfix, and Airfix models are normally not too expensive. They get straight to the point, they're never too difficult. This particular kit, however, is just a little bit historically inaccurate. I mean, who ever heard of a turn of the century London bus that doesn't have a huge crossbow bolted to the back? With a little bit of kit bashing and a little bit of scratch building, I was able to remedy the situation. I don't know what goes on in the post-apocalyptic fantasy world that swirls around in your head, but in mine, you can use leaf spring suspension systems to propel crossbow bolts, or in this case, 
a giant car-catching harpoon tethered to a chain. Ha! Huh, crazy. A quick touch up with some pastel chalks and we're good to go. Take that airfix. I toyed with a few different options for the roof but eventually in this kit I found the perfect size roof. Looking through this kit, I noticed the engine was missing. Pfft, what? But as luck would have it, the radiator fit perfectly. I bought this for my daughter knowing full well she'd hate it. And sure enough, she gave it to me. So I stole the chain and the next piece of the puzzle was complete. This kid gave me this bit. And this kid gave me this bit. I stuck them together they look suitably stupid but luckily enough the grill from the World War II half track tied everything in beautifully. I'd better stop before the whole thing got out of hand. And here's what it ended up looking like. I really like this model. The trouble is it doesn't look anything like the picture on the box.